Hi folks, my name is Nick Sayer, and I'll be here for the next couple of minutes to discuss the potential storm with you. So let's get right uh, to the weather. This is one of the most more active videos I've done. So basically, we're going to be covering the potential storm this weekend, and we're going to be skipping the clipper coming through tonight for northern New England. All right, well, I guess southern New England, too. Quick clipper moving through today, not really an issue. Uh, you can check on other sites if you want info on that. Not going to be covered here. Saturday to provide a break in the action. Giant Virginia storm beginning on Sunday. And probably the biggest storm since December 2010 for the Richmond area. Now, keep in mind, it won't be anything near the amount that you saw in December 2010, but it will be the first significant snowfall since then. Uh, now, let's talk about what's going on right now. You can see we do have activity in the southwest United States. That is our, essentially our storm moving through, just about four days away. And as you continue to go out through time, the storm track will basically be just uh, near the North Carolina-Virginia border. Areas to the north of that will likely see a plowable snow out of this event. And let's talk about how much snow you'll see and when. Here is the latest 12Z European model. And what you can see here is that Clipper moves through tonight. We're quiet for Saturday. And here we are. By Sunday morning, we can already see rain entering the picture at the southern corner of your screen as it continue to go throughout the day. Snow falling in earnest for West Virginia all the way back into the Shenandoah Valley, up to 10 inches in some areas. Meanwhile, quickly quickly from rain to snow in central Virginia. A little bit longer rain in Richmond, mostly rain in places like Norfolk and Virginia Beach, but eventually everybody goes over to snow and everybody sees snow in the state of Virginia out of this storm. How much snow will you see? Most folks are uh, too scared to put out a map because there's a lot of uncertainty associated with this event, but here's from Topia. We uh, sort of conquered the fear and put out a map for you. Now this is our first guest snowfall accumulation map. All right, could change, so expect changes. But uh, this seems like a somewhat easy forecast. Yesterday's GFS model was really just crazy with the amount of snow is putting in how far north. I just don't think that'll happen. Essentially, from Baltimore to southern uh, New Jersey, one to two inches, you might see like flurries and coating or so to the north of that. Two to four inches, this is the serious zone, two to four inches from D.C. down to the southern tip of the Delmarva. All right, all the way back out to central West Virginia. And then let's talk about where things get really interesting. From Richmond, yes, Richmond, all the way up to about, not Quantico, I would say. Some 15 miles south of Quantico and points west and southwest, four to eight inches. Now here's the deal, guys. All right, I would like to say four, and I would like to say eight. But the th thing about this is, this has the potential to just bring three to five inches to those areas if you say so if you see a lot of rain. There's a potential that you see that almost everyone sees in the high six, seven, eight inches. And some areas are gonna see ten out of this. Now, who sees ten? It's not gonna be Richmond. Richmond, you're not getting ten. It's not gonna work. Who sees ten? I would say the best chance would be in the higher elevations of the Shenandoah Valley, uh, where you would see four to eight inches or more. Otherwise, probably four to seven inches. Now Richmond it's a close call, but I do think it'll definitely be in that 4 to 8 inch range. The latest European had almost 6 inches for you, and I think 4 to 8 is a very easy uh, estimate for you. Now guys, where do, where do smart people go? They go to the Stormtopia.com Facebook page, one of the fastest growing pages out there, where you get intermittent updates between forecast videos. And look how easy it is to like our page. There's a like button right here. Click like, and you'll be more informed than you were yesterday. Have a good day.